Hello everyone, welcome to another Pyro Gaming video. Recently, Bungie announced that with the April update, they would be bringing forward a handful of Year 1 exotic weapons and armor into Year 2. Missing from those exotic weapons coming over into Year 2 are six of the best exotic weapons from Year 1. And we're going to talk about them all in this video, specifically Icebreaker and Yallerhorn, which I will save for the end. So starting off, the two raid exotics, Vex Mythoclast and Necrochasm. These two are being held back for very obvious reasons, and that is that they are so powerful. Currently, in the Crucible, Necrochasm has a time to kill of under 1 second. Vex Mythoclast is not far behind at about 1.2 seconds. You land 3 headshots with a Vex Mythoclast, your enemy is going down. Now if you bring those up to your 2 light levels and put them in Iron Banner, that is all anybody is using. Necrochasm is very similar to Doctrine of Passing, which, you've, which is... <laughs> You have played Iron Banner recently. You know about Doctrine of Passing, even if you don't have one yourself. I'm sure you've been killed from it, or killed by it. Everybody has. So the next two exotic weapons that are not coming over into year two just yet are Thorn and Pocket Infinity. Now Thorn, I don't really need to say anything about because people are still using a year one Thorn in year two Iron Banner right now, and it is still killing enemies in three hits. Thorn is a thorn in your side, honestly. It does not have a place in Year 2. I hope it never comes over to Year 2. Now, Pocket Infinity, on the other hand, didn't really stir up anything in the Crucible. It was an okay PvP option, or PvE option, I should say. I'm sorry. I don't understand why this one is not in Year 2 yet. Invective and Pocket Infinity are about on the same tier. I feel like if you bring Invective over, Pocket Infinity should be right behind it. Um, in Year 1, Pocket Infinity and Thorn were both obtained from completing a Vanguard Mentor Missive, which, is, which was an exotic weapon bounty that you got from the bounty tracker from turning in however many bounties. Nobody ever really figured it out. I think it was just random. But uh, that's, that's about the only thing that those two weapons have in common. So for Thorn to be held back, completely justifiable. For Pocket Infinity to be held back, I don't understand it. So now let's talk about the big two. Icebreaker and Yallerhorn. We'll start with Icebreaker. Icebreaker was my favorite weapon in Year 1. In Year 1, most of the strikes were stand in one spot, shoot the boss for a little bit, clear a couple ads, go back to your spot, shoot the boss, clear a couple ads, lather, lather, rinse, repeat. And for this process, Icebreaker was by far the absolute best, second possibly only to Black Hammer before the buff, when you had unlimited ammo if you can hit precision shots. Now, in Year 2, you have strikes like the Shield Brothers, and the Dark Blade, and the Fallen Saber Strike, all three of which feature bosses that are constantly moving around, and you can't just sit in one spot. You have to keep moving as well because your environment is changing. Now, be because of this, Icebreaker in Year 2 would not be nearly as effective as it was in Year 1. You have to constantly be on your toes. If you're really good at getting precision shots on the run with a sniper rifle, then you could probably make Icebreaker a beast. But for the casual player that might not be so good with a sniper, Icebreaker's not going to really do that much for you. Honestly, I mean, I don't understand why we can't have Icebreaker. They, they buffed it, or they nerfed it, making it to where instead of 5 seconds to regen ammo, it takes 8, which adds up very quickly for a 6-round clip, believe me. I don't understand why it's not in year 2, and I hope to see it soon. Uh, as far as Yallerhorn, the big one, Yallerhorn, in year one, was the weapon. You could not get on a raid team, you could not do Trials, or not Trials of Osiris, Prison of Elders. You couldn't do anything with random people unless you had a Yallerhorn. Now Bungie has explicitly said that they want to do away with that. They don't want that one weapon that everybody requires you to have on LFG and Bungie.net. So it's perfectly understandable why Yallerhorn has not came over into year two. But again, much like Icebreaker, they nerfed Yallerhorn prior to the release of the Taken King, so again, why isn't it here? Me personally, if you look ahead at the roadmap, we have the update in September. In between now and September, there should be another big event similar to the size of SRL. SRL, we got exotics. I feel like we will get exotics in this next event. I expect this sometime around July. So drop a comment in the box below. Let me know what you think when, we're or when you think we're going to get these weapons. If you enjoyed this video, click like. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, I fucking love you. Thank you for watching, guys, and take care.